Salome, everybody. My name is Terrifiger, and welcome to a Friday Night Funkin' mod that takes the Sonic.exe mod and Doki Doki Takeover and combines them into one. This apparently has been out for a long time, but recently it got a version 2 that apparently is, is much better in terms of, like, the art and even the music because all the songs got remixed. So I'm eager to, to check this out. Let's do it. Because I did love the Doki Doki Takeover and I did love the Sonic.exe mod. So putting them together should be a bundle of fun. Here we go. Just Monica. Uh, there's nothing but normal mode. Okay. If there's nothing but normal mode, then let's just do it. Hello. Oh, she... That, that looks pretty uncanny. <laughs> I don't know what the other ver the version one was like, so I don't know how like good or not the art is in comparison to it. But this looks pretty good. Definitely looks a lot like a faker kind of Monica, or not really faker because the eyes are a pretty big giveaway and there's blood on her skirt and stuff. But I guess we'll see. I like those poses too. I, I don't know what I was expecting for the poses, but I figured maybe they were going to just take the, uh, her original poses in the Doki Doki to Takeover, but then just use this new character model instead. But no, they're actually making their own poses. It's great. I've missed this too slow. I... People give the Encore version so much praise, but no. This version is leaps and bounds better than the Encore version. That's not saying the Encore version is bad, but it's just that this version is better. Alright, here we go! Okay. Alright! I also really like her voice. I can tell it's the original Monica voice, but it's just pitched down. And given how Sonic.exe's voice in the mod is just Sonic's voice but pitched down, it's a great touch. It's creepy how she doesn't even have a mouth when she speaks. That's, that's, that's pretty good, honestly. It works, oddly enough. Haha! I also don't know how a uh, triple trouble is gonna gonna go, but I guess we'll see. I can also tell the remix that was used here. It's a great remix of like the instrumental and everything. It's great. Ah, nice. No cutscene between it, but it work. But it still is fine. Doesn't need a cutscene, quite frankly. This is working. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah. Looking straight at me. Oh, and she's forcing the bar down. Okay. Didn't know that... I didn't know that she did that last time, or, or that Sonic.exe did that last time.
This is a great touch. It's even got the same kind of bouncy rhythm as as the uh what was it? Poem Panic High School Conflict or something. Whatever kind of music was played when she was in the the hating simulator. I do appreciate that the notes that that like drained the opponent's health if they're hit are not used here and instead she's just draining the, the and so she's just draining your health I meant the opponent's health I meant a boyfriend's health obviously this I can deal with I also just realized that girlfriend isn't here, it's just the speakers. Does, does that mean she deleted her? Like Monica deleted girlfriend? I believe it is. Yes! Even finished with a full bar. <sighs> okay, now how are you gonna up the stakes with triple trouble? Bring it on, I'm ready. Okay, big leg. Don't you dare crash. Okay, thank you. Nice. They're having all the uh, the girls replacing the ki the characters as well. Doki doki, I heard that. I'm so glad I'm not having to collect rings now. This is not gonna trip me up. There we go. This is a lot more my sp well, my speed. I don't know if it's my speed because this is already pretty fast. Right, I remember it's just a it's just a lot of uh, it, it it's a, it's it's a lot of like playing at the same time. No wonder I was having trouble with this last time. She, she's kind of singing something different, and me too. This is different from the original Triple Trouble. Are they at least going to throw the static notes in? If they're not going to throw in those shadow notes that drain the health? I mean, I won't be complaining if they do. Oh, but what the heck? She drains it really fast until the midpoint? She drains it really fast until the midpoint. I, 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 at which point, oh my gosh. And there you are, Natsuki. And it, she joins it really fast until the midpoint, at which point it, she goes much slower. Oh, I, I, oh, I'm over here. Oh, and my sprite is, my sprite is frozen in, like, the scared pose now, or the dodging pose. Not too sure why. But it shouldn't be that big a deal. <sighs> okay. Yeah.
Oh god, this part! I, I, I struggled so much with this. There's no pattern. Oh, there goes the bar, there goes the bar, there goes the bar! To the midpoint. Oh, now she's not draining it. What the hell? That's odd. She looks really deranged now. But it's so great. Oh, and now it's not draining. I don't know how she's acting here. She's unpredictable. She just, she does, I guess she does that big health drain right in the very beginning, but then is she supposed to drain the health the rest as well? Is it when she plays note? Because that's what she did after Sayori's verse and not this one apparently. And now it's Yuri's turn. And I'm back over here, and my poses are fixed. So it must have been something to do with me getting swapped before. With with Natsuki, I mean. Ah. Uh. It's... It's, uh, it's Doki Doki Literature Club music. It's working, though. Yes. I have some thoughts to give about uh, Sayori and Natsuki and Yuri in this song here, but I, I gotta save them for when the song's over because I gotta be in full focus mode here. Exactly 200 misses. Jesus. Whoa! Over singing much? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yep, there goes the bar. Oh my gosh, yeah, now she's really draining it. Jesus. Ha! Okay. And now she's just standardly draining it. Instead. So she did that humongous drain in the beginning, and then standardly draining it for the rest. Okay, that works. I can deal with it. As long as she doesn't do something douchey like forcing it all the way down. But she doesn't do that. There's a certain point where she stops. So she's being nice to me. Come on. Time for me to get that progress back.
I beat Triple Trouble in some form. Okay. So just what I wanted to say about Sayori Natsuki and Yuri, I really like about how they, their, their, I guess, twisted up guises here actually do reference how, how they're dead or died in the actual DDLC game. With Sayori having that noose around her neck, Natsuki's uh, right pose, I guess, since, since it's like mirrored, her right pose has her neck like twisted back, plus her eyes are like blacked out and bleeding. And then Yuri has the knife stabbed in her chest. That's a great touch. It, it really works out. Okay, what's Killer 3? It's um, Raccoon Sayonara and Dear Sunshine. Okay, so it's like a combination of... Yuri and Sayori, I guess. Okay. I guess I guess we'll see what this is like. Probably nothing too different except for a change. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, she actually looks really freaking demented here. She's got like she's got like bony knees and bony phalanges. Whoa. That is, that is nuts. Her poses are like so well animated. She's having a, like a lot of movement at each one. It looks great. Wow, it looks great. So cool. It's so cool what they're doing here. She's even got that like Y-shaped slash on her chest, on her body, just like Lord X has the X-shaped slash on him. It's a great touch. I love it. And here's the, the part in, uh, execution of the original Lord X song. Yeah, but then a bit of DDLC in it! great. It's so great. Even... Oh. Guess that was a bit of a glitch that happened. And now it's time for... Oh. This looks pretty cursed. Giving her the Majin face is looks pretty cursed, I gotta say. The vocals sound pretty cheery, though. Notes are still spinning, I like that at least. Oh, the Majins in the background aren't moving at all. They're all static. And I do see a Majin Sayori back there. Even though there's still Majin Sonics. And in general, all the remixes of these songs are so good. It makes me wonder what they'd be like with the vocals of the, uh, respective Sonic.exe mod characters that's singing them. Like, like this one with the actual Majin Sonic. For instance. It makes me wonder, because... 
who knows, it could sound really good. I like that part. The circus theme. All right, here's a home stretch. Very awesome. Oh, I see now. I now see the finger wagon Sayori in the foreground. Foreground. Very, very cool. Ready, set. And go. now we get to my favorite song. I think. I, if I remember correctly, this is my favorite song in the Sonic.exe mod. But I don't know if when the the unfinished 2.5 or 3.0 build came out, if anything there took the cake, or if it was all still just great. This is at least one of my favorite songs. Again, I'm wondering how this would sound with the actual Tails doll, but with this instrumental. Somebody's got to be able. Somebody's got to make these cut the, those mashups on YouTube. Because I'm wondering too much how the Tails doll would sound with this instrumental of Sunshine here, or Dear Sunshine, I guess. Somebody out there, make it for me, please, and then link it to me because I want to hear it. <laughs> I do have to ask, what is glowing on her? Are those supposed to be her eyes or something? I, I can't tell. It looks just like her forehead is glowing. I mean, I guess something's gotta glow, right? Here we go, this is the part where she goes off! I've been silent for a lot of the song. It's just it's just one of my absolute favorites of all time. It is so freaking good. Goosebumps. The last time I got goosebumps like that was when I heard it for the first that sunshine track for the first time the song contains too much. Lunatic! Lunatic! 
Is that with the uh, chaos? But judging by the Three, background. Two, one, oh! What is this? It's good though. Oh, this is still me. I don't know what this is. If this is an act part of an actual Sonic mod out there for for Friday Night Funkin'. If this is an actual thing out there for Sonic with with him and Fleetway, I can see that. I can see that. But if that exists out there, then I didn't know about it. But this is This is like a non-stop playing session. And it is so good! This is so good! Oh my gosh! I also really like the, the vocals for a Fleetway Monica or Lunatic or whoever she's called. These. It doesn't it doesn't sound like uh like Monica's vocals but just pitched down. She actually sounds deranged in there. It is a great touch. Crap, I couldn't even get a good look at Lunatic there. Wow. This this was incredible. This song was incredible. This was not in the other Sonic.exe mod, but it's in this one. Oh, hi! So this is Chaos now. This is another remix! Wow. This... This sounds like it's actually faster... ...than, uh, the original Chaos. But this is incredible. So far, this is winning me over more than the original Chaos is. They're not even giving her any dialogue in here, but surprise, but they're just adding extra music tracks. And it works. They're giving her extra music tracks in place of where the dialogue would be, and it works really well. We gotta hear Fleet Wade singing this version of Chaos.
This is absolutely better than the original Chaos. Mostly because of mostly because of this instrumental being better. Her poses were really goofy too. I loved that. This whole week, I guess, uh, pissed woman. I guess it's because her hair is blonde now. This was my favorite week so far. Memes. Oh my! What the hell? The hell is that? She's all but that looks very cursed. But so far, this this piss woman week is my favorite. My absolute favorite. It is it, the, the the music in there is like, holy crap! The remixes was good. The voice of Lunatic herself sounded great. She actually sounded like like a really powerful woman and like not at all the common composed Monica that we all know and love. But man, she just sounded ruthless. And even and not only did Chaos get that remix, but she also got like a different art style altogether. Again, her poses were really goofy. Something I did notice during it is that her down pose, you can kind of see up her skirt, but I didn't say anything at the time because I was trying to focus. Anyways, we're getting into Meme Suki now. But yes, that lunatic week, that is my favorite so far. Oh. Well, thank you for not shrinking the window really small like you did the last time. So now we're getting into something relaxing. This doesn't really sound like Natsuki's voice in the mod. Got a little Scott here. I remember this. This is my, uh, I like this better than the, the other milk. And so the other milk had tons of references in it to other music stuff, but this version of milk the remade version has like more charm to it. I love it. My fingers are still wanting to go really fast. Because of what I just went through in the lunatic week. They really want to go fast so like they're actually struggling with this pace. This totally sounds like it could be the theme song of a uh, children's show. SpongeBob laugh. Oh, darn it. I, I was, I was, I wasn't ready to play that early. I was I was so close to getting a full combo on this song, but oh what in the world? Whoa. And now my fingers gotta move fast. I see how it is. Milk and cookies was giving me a, a, just a breather for my fingers, whereas this one would would boost them back up to full speed. This is, this is another remix, I can tell, not only with the music, but also in the vocals. They're not entirely the same.
yeah, I remember I don't like how fast this song is. Oh! Yep. It's the it's the MLT part, only without any of the crazy of effects going across the screen. Oh, jeez. Do we see piece of cake? Well, of course. You're too fast. You're too fast. I, on the other hand, I'm not fast enough. Who? There we go. We did it. No, thank you. Not no, unless you're gonna go slower and let me catch up. Jesus. All right, meme Suki. All right, Neo. Betrayery code execution. The one original song. <laughs> yeah, the one original song. So this is gonna be something completely new that's not in the versus exe. Oh. It's a Neo style for Monica. Oh, that is cool. Like how, how her hair is blowing in all of her poses. What? Come on, the game lagged there. What the hell? That wasn't fair. This was even going at a, at a calm pace, so I thought that I, that maybe I would be able to do this one, I would be able to full combo this one. But then it lagged there. Pretty cool song. Whoa, I hope I don't have to do that big spam of notes. Probably am, though. Nope, apparently not. I'm partly in focus mode and partly staying quiet because I just want to listen to this. It's such a cool song. Whoa! They did have me do that big spam of notes! Keeps going. Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay. Well, I said that I felt like I could have full comboed that thing if it didn't lag in the beginning. I take it back. I could not have full comboed that thing for the life of me. What's in the extras? What is in the extras? So, so that was it. I thought I, when I said extras, I thought that it meant that there was like I don't know pictures or something, concepts or something like that. But this was super cool. All of the remixes in here just sounded so great, and I now just would love to hear what each of the respective EXE characters that sang them in the song of the DXE mod would sound like if they were singing along with these instrumentals. So, like, the vocals of Endless in the OG Sonic.exe mod versus the Sayonara one, but take the instrumental of that and put the vocals of the original Endless onto it and then see how it sounds. Like, that's just an example, but, like, all of these, I would love to hear that. And I would feel like the only song, like, all of them are good, but none of them are better than their originals versus Sonic.exe versions. Although, the only one that I think did better than the original Sonic.exe song is the, is the Chaos one. That one is better than the other Chaos one because I like it even more than Sunshine now. It has got such a nice rhythm. She didn't have vocals in there, but she didn't need to because there were just extra music that's put in place of the vocals and they flowed so nicely. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Are we getting dead silence or is the music looping again? I don't know. Yes, it is. But link to this mod is in the description below. Definitely play it for yourself because holy crap, this is such a great experience. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't add all of this stuff from the 2.5 and 3.0 builds in. Like they didn't throw in Roundabout or Cold Steel or anything like that. I would have liked to see what they would have done with, those, with, with all those extra songs. But, oh well. What we got here is still great, and I still love this version of Chaos. And that version, like, Dark Puddle, where it was splitting back and forth between Monica and Chaos, like, I've never seen that before, but I think, judging by how it looks and its setup and everything, I think that it probably most likely is a mod that's already in existence of Sonic and Fleetway. I just don't know what it's called, but I would like to see it. So, um, I guess if, if you know what song it is, then put in the link in the, in the comments below, because I would love to hear it. But yes, play it for yourself. As I said, link's in the description so you can try it out for yourself. It's a free download and it's well worth the download, in my opinion. So be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did enjoy the video. Go into the light until we meet again. Salome.